Now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone. It is a busy Tuesday night here in the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. 412-575-2600 is the number to call. You can also tweet us at KD Pomp at Paul Zeiss. We'll take those tweets here in a busy, busy day, as I said, led by the summit in Florida between Art Rooney II, Kevin Colbert, along with Omar Khan, the vice president of business for the Steelers, and it was Antonio Brown finally meeting the man he wouldn't call back for two months, along with his agent Drew Rosenhaus. Uh, the result of that meeting was not something that you would be shocked at. They decided to go their separate ways, aired their grievances, talked about what happened, and then that was it. And from what we understand, that was what the Steelers had intended to do all along. It wasn't a reconciliation meeting. It was to say goodbye and figure out why Antonio Brown lost his mind here in the last part of uh, the season and, or the last week of the season and the next couple of months. So now the question would be, Steelers have until, I think, March 17th. They owe him $2.5 million if there's no deal. Paul Zeiss of the Post-Gazette and 93.7 The Fan is here, and I think that's the large question right now. What do you think they can get for Antonio Brown, Paul? Because I still think it's going to be higher than what some people believe. There are too many teams that need some kind of production like that for a, a team that has a young quarterback and could benefit. And I got to believe it's a second round pick or higher. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I think I think a second round pick is what they can get. That's really what I, I, I can't imagine someone's going to give them a first round pick. I know that, you know, uh, was it Amari Cooper for Dallas? Is that what they got for him? Yep. A first round pick? He was 24 years old. Right. He's young and he also doesn't have a lot of the nonsense going on. I think one thing that's going to hurt, really, really hurt, is this stuff about how he needs a guaranteed contract. Right. Right. I mean, that, if you're if you're an owner, well, first of all, you don't have to give him a guarantee. No, contract. but if, if you require him, you say, look, you have three years, serve. But it. my point is, if you're an owner, do you want to bring that headache on? Well, that's going to be part of it. it has to be part of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I, listen, we're bringing you here. You got the deal you got, and that's it. And then all of a sudden, you got him pouting and starting trouble with their quarterback and all the other. I, that to me is something that you really need to watch because I feel like. That's going to be a deal breaker with a lot of teams. It's going to be, look, we're not giving you more money. We're not going to give you another contract. Antonio Brown has done everything in his power to affect his own leverage and the Steelers' leverage. He's acted uh, extremely erratically, and all you had to do is look like uh, last night's Instagram Live, <laughs> where he wants now to be referred to as, <clears throat> and he said it emphatically, Mr. Big Chest. No longer at MB, it's Mr. Big Chest. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that, you have to wonder if that, you're another team trying to pick him up. Okay, what am I going to get here? Does he have some pro problem we don't know how to deal with? Number two, the guaranteed contract, which he will not get. If I was an owner, I'd say, look, you signed it, you deal with it. Yeah, absolutely. Did you happen to see what U <coughs> UMBC tweeted at Antonio no, Brown? No, no. <laughs> you know, that U UMBC, yeah. that's pretty funny, that, that Twitter site uh, ever since they won the, uh, you know, they beat Virginia last year. Anyway, he, he tweeted at Antonio Brown and said, uh, hey, our colors are the same as Pittsburgh, and our initials are literally University of Mr. Big Chest. So give <laughs> us a call, Antonio Brown. <laughs> this is pretty funny. That is pretty but, uh, funny. Yeah, I mean, this is a guy, again, I, I think he's hurting his own value. I really do. I, I would be, <coughs> if I was an owner, I would have to sit down with Drew Rosenhaus, his agent, and say, listen, it will, we want him, and we are, we're going to trade for him. But there's no more money here. There's no, you know, if you want to talk about an extension three years from now, okay, fine. But we're not guaranteeing anything. Oh, well, he's 31, so right. he's not somebody who has his best years are behind him. And I think owners now don't want to pay for past performance so right. much. They want to pay for what they're going to get in the next several years. We've seen it in baseball, which I'll get to in a second segment when we talk about some of the money Manny Machado got. Uh, also, I want to mention the Penguins in action tonight. It was a big night for them. They got a win. They exercised the Devils, believe it or not. First win of the year against the last place team, 4-3 to three on the road. That coupled with the Canes losing, the Columbus Blue Jackets losing, the Philadelphia Flyers losing. Uh, was a good night for the Penguins. So we'll talk about that. Get your calls in right now. It's 412-575-2600. We'll get into that. Pirates spring training. Manny Machado headed to San Diego. Interesting. That's all coming up when we continue live right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, Pittsburgh CW. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity.